Okay, uh, we're back at example three and we're on to our more complicated questions, question C and D. And question C says if the time is now uh, 9.34 hours, what was the time two hours and 45 minutes earlier? All right, now because we're going to an earlier time, we're going to put um, the 9.34 on our timeline uh, near the end of it. All right, now that's in 24 hour time, so that's really 9.34 a.m. or 9.34 hours. And the first thing we'll do is we're taking the time off, we're going backwards, and we'll start by taking the two hours off. We'll do it a little bit at a time. It's, it's hard to do it all at once, so you do a little bit at a time. So two hours back, what would the time be? Well, two hours before 9.34 was 7.34. All right, so that's a nice simple calculation. What's difficult is when you've got to take the 45 minutes off when you only have 34 minutes to take off. So once again, we're going to do it piece by piece. We'll actually, we're just going to take off 34 minutes because that's a nice easy one to do. If we take 34 minutes off from 734, that's going to give us 0700 hours, which is a nice simple one. But how many more minutes do we need to take off now? Well, if we look at 45 and we think, well, we've taken off 34 minutes, how many more minutes would make 45. Well, 34 plus 11 is 45, which means we've just got to take off another 11 minutes and then we're done. All right, so if I take 11 minutes off 7 o'clock, where does that take me? That's going to take me to 6.49. All right, so that's our time. What's the time? Two hours and 45 minutes earlier, 6.49 hours. Remembering our question is in 24-hour time, so our answer should also be in 24-hour time. Now, I want to show you a really quick shortcut that you can use, but it'll only work if you have a scientific calculator. And it works using the button, the DMS button, the degrees, minutes, seconds button, or hours, minutes, seconds button, or the other one, which is the dot with three commas. Either one of these can be used to solve this question. So what we do is we take the time 9.34 and we write it in our calculator by going 9 DMS 34 DMS. So essentially we've just written 9 hours 34 minutes and we're going to subtract 2 hours and 45 minutes. So we're going to go 2 minus 2 DMS and 45 DMS. Okay, now when you do that, it's going to give you a solution that's going to look like this. 6 degrees, 49 with a comma, and a 0 with a double comma. And that's just saying 6 hours and 49 minutes, which is the answer you wanted. And that's a lot quicker than, than doing what we did. All right. Now, let's move on to question D, which says Columbia is 14 hours and 30 minutes behind Adelaide. If it is 6.45 in Adelaide, that's um, 6.45 hours or 6.45 a.m. in Adelaide, what is the time in Columbia? All right, so Columbia is behind Adelaide. So we're going to put our 6.45 over here on the right, and we've got to take off 14 hours and 30 minutes. So um, what we've got to do is we've got to look at where 12 o'clock is. So let's put it here. Um, it's actually 12 midnight, so let's write 12 midnight, which in 24 hour time is 0, 100 hours, okay? Now, if we go to that point, how much time have we, have we taken off? Um, it'll be 6 hours and 45 minutes. So let's just look at that. This distance here is 6 hours and 45 minutes. All right, now um, we've got to take off 14 hours and 30 minutes. So what I think we'll do, um, because it's a bit difficult working with this 45, let's take off another 15 minutes. And where does that take us? Well, if we take off 15 minutes, we're now at um, 11.45 p.m. It's 11.45 at night, but we need to write it in 24-hour time, so 23.45. All right. Now, so far, we have taken off seven hours. So we'll write a little note. We've taken off 
6 hours 45 plus 15 minutes so we've taken off 7 hours in total um, which means because we've got to take off 14 hours and 30 minutes we need another I'll write that down we need another 7 hours and 30 minutes is that right yet yeah. 7 hours and 30 minutes to take off so we've taken 7 hours off we need to take off another 7 hours to make 14 and also the 30 minutes. Alright, so how are we going to do this? Well, it usually works better to do your hours. So let's take off 7 hours from here. And we had 11.45 and 11 minus 7 is 4. So this is going to take us to 4.45 p.m. or um, 16.45 if it was in uh, 24 hour time okay so uh, all together we've taken off 14 hours we've just got to take off another 30 minutes so let's go back 30 minutes and see where that takes us 30 minutes um, and if we take 30 minutes from 445 that's going to put us at 4 15 p.m. or 16 15 all right that's our final answer. So the time in Columbia is going to be 16, 15 hours. And that's the end of example three.